This tutorial is a continuation of assembling parts. Rendering is applying colors and textures to a CAD model to make it more realistic. Background images can also be added. We will begin with the headlamp from the previous tutorial. It is in the form of a default solid edge model. It's gray in color and it's completely solid. We want it to look more like the headlamp that we were modeling. Starting from the main window, click on the Tools tab. Under Tools, click on ERA. This stands for Explode, Render, Animate. ERA is the environment on Solid Edge where you make the model aesthetically pleasing. To apply color and texture, click on the View tab and then a part file name. In the Style section of the toolbar, Click the arrow of the drop-down menu next to Faces. This is where the predefined colors and textures are located. Any color can be applied to any shape. For realism, we will choose gray. Continue to apply colors until the model no longer has any solid edge default colors. Now. Now that we have a nice looking model, we want to export it as an image to put in reports and PowerPoints. Go to the Application button at the top left corner of the Solid Edge window. Click it, select Save As, and Save As Image. So, what happens if we want to get rid of the gray background so that the image looks better on those papers and PowerPoints that we're going to insert it into? That is possible too. Select View Overrides in the Style section of the toolbar. Click on the Background tab. Here you can change the background to different colors and images. Solid Edge comes with preloaded images. You can also use images from other sources. After you choose your image, it will apply it as your background and you can export it as an image in the same manner as before.